The following is a quick guide to string slinging basics. We'll start off with the sleeper. In order to sleep the yo-yo, you need to have a good throw. The yo-yo should roll off your hand when you throw it down. If it's on the wrong side, the string acts as a brake, preventing it from rolling down. To fix this problem, just flip the yo-yo around and you're ready to throw. After you have developed a good throw, it's time to try the sleeper. To sleep the yo-yo, throw it down and don't attempt to bring it back to your hand. Instead, keep your hand still and wait until the yo-yo is about ready to lose its momentum and quit spinning and then jerk your hand up and the yo-yo will return to your hand. Long sleepers are necessary for more complicated tricks and they require a harder throw. There is one other factor in sleeping the yo-yo which involves string tension. The yo-yo isn't tied to the string. Instead, it's a loop that's around the axle and this loop is what allows the yo-yo to sleep. If the string is too loose, the yo-yo won't come back, and if the string tension is too tight, the yo-yo won't sleep. So you want to go and check your string tension when you're playing. A great way to adjust string tension is the flying saucer trick. Because the flying saucer either tightens or loosens the string depending on which side of the body the yo-yo is thrown. Well hopefully this has given you something to sleep on. Until next time.